Hello YouTube, this is Chirag from scratchbuilds.com and in this video I'm going to show you my DIY FPV ground station with a 7 inch LCD monitor, built in 5.8 gigahertz 8 channel receiver and the internal battery that lasts for about 2 hours and you can build the entire system for about $65 the original idea of this build is from a guy named Pratik I saw his post on RC India forum and as you can see in the picture he integrated the video receiver inside the monitor a 3S LiPo will power the entire system but there was a problem the 3S battery was making the video receiver very very hot so trying to figure out the alternate way to power the video receiver I figured that you can actually run the entire system on the 2S battery and the system draws only 550 milliamps of current and that means we can also integrate a small 2S battery inside it. So that's exactly what I did and now I have one compact package which is very easy to carry and takes no time to set up in the field. And even if you run out the internal battery, you can power it up with the external battery and it has also the capability that if you want to use just the receiver or just the monitor by itself, you can okay let's take a look at the system the monitor is a 7 inch TFT LCD color monitor uh, got it from Amazon for about 26 and some change so let's call it $27 the receiver is Boscam RC5808 8 channel 500 gigahertz receiver and this cost about $17 okay so on top of the monitor uh, I cut two holes one for the SMA connector uh, to plug your antenna there and another one for the dip switches so you can change the channel on the go if you have to. The battery is in the back somewhere here. There are two switches in the back. The first one is to power the entire system on and off and it also works as uh, to choose between internal battery or if you want to connect to the external battery. The second switch controls the power going to the receiver so using that you can turn the receiver on or off. Underneath the switches there is a JST XH female connector. It's a 3S battery connector. So in case you run out of the internal battery you can plug in the balance port of your 3S battery here and uh, power the system that way. This JST XH male uh, connector is coming from the internal battery and we can use that to charge the internal battery. One last thing on the back, I drill a little hole so we can see the LED of the receiver uh, if it's on or off. And then underneath the monitor we have two connections. Uh, one is the input, one is the output. Okay, so this is the input, it's RCA female. Using that you can feed the video to the AV2 channel of the monitor. So in case if you want to use just the monitor, you can use that port. And that is our video out too. It's a 3.5 millimeter uh, four pole jack. And that is connected to the video out two of the receiver. Uh, you can use that port to connect to your video goggle or connect to other monitor if you want to. Now please excuse that big crack at the bottom. I will make sure that you will not have that problem. But we'll talk about that um, in detail in the second part of the video. So that was the quick overview of the system. So now let's see it in action. To test out the internal video receiver, I'm going to be using this 200 milliwatt Boscam transmitter connected to a 3S battery and the camera. Uh, the system is already powered on, so it's already outputting the video signals. And also I have selected the right channel so I can get the video input on the receiver. Okay, so let's power up the monitor. The first switch powers up the entire system and it's on the video input 2 let me switch it to video input 1 where I have connected the internal receiver to and then let's turn on the receiver and as you can see as I turn on the receiver we have the video feed from our camera so there we go our internal receiver is working just fine alright so now I'm gonna test out the video 2 input of the monitor for that I'll be using this bus cam receiver and plug that into the input of the monitor. So when we switch to video 2 
on the monitor we should get the reception from this receiver here instead of the internal receiver okay so now I'm gonna switch to the video 2 of the monitor and as you can see there's no signal right now and as soon as I power on this receiver here which is plugged into the video 2 input uh, we'll get the signal from the transmitter all right so there we go as we can see uh, that's the live feed from the camera via the video input 2 from the external receiver so when you want to use external receiver uh, with the monitor you can also use that and this is the feed from the internal receiver and let me make sure the system is working perfect let me turn around and uh, turn off the internal receiver okay so there's no video feed from the internal receiver and let me switch back to the video 2 and here we go this is the feed from the external receiver so that is also working just perfect okay so now to test out the video out functionality I'll use my Bascam goggle and the video output will be over this 3.5 millimeter cable it's a four pole jack male to male cable all right so I have plug in the cable I'm gonna turn on the system turn on the internal receiver uh, switch to internal video one and as you can see right now we're getting the feedback from the internal receiver so I'm gonna turn off the monitor and so now the only the internal receiver is working okay so let me power up my goggles real quick as you can see there's no video input right now there's no video and as soon as I plug in the video input to it we have the live feed from the camera alright so that's it for this video guys that was my FPV ground station just to give you guys an idea when you buy the entire system this is what you're gonna get and when you go out there in the field you have to connect everything and this is what you end up with this is your ground station with all the wires hanging it's it's a mess so I hope you guys like this mod and in the second part of this video I'm gonna open up the back panel and show you guys how I have connected everything be sure to hit the like button if you like the video and if you have any questions or comments please leave in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching